Right, I've got an interesting little product to show you today. ESP marker gun. It's designed for tying range marker knots when you're clipping up and casting precise distances and it's an excellent alternative to pole elastic or insulation tape. Pinpoint accuracy can be very important in carp fishing. When you cast into a specific feature like a gravel bar, silt gully, weed bed or an island or far bank margin, you want to be able to repeat the cast accurately every time, especially after dark when you can't see where you're casting to. So most people use the uh, line clip on the reel spool so you can clip up to a precise distance, say if you cast your marker rod out, found a spot and then you cast your, your lead to it and then clip up. But when you want to repeat that cast, you obviously need a mark or a guide on the line so you know where to clip up on the reel. So this is where the uh, marker gun comes in. It's available on five metre spools in two highly visible colours, fluorescent orange and yellow. But one of its key features is that it's so thin. It has a nominal diameter of just 0.45 mil, which compared to some of the pole elastics used for marker knots, which are around the 0.75 to 1 mil diameter, this stuff leads to much finer knots, whereas with pole elastic you can end up with quite bulky knots, which can reduce distance, especially when you're casting long range, as the line on top of the marker knot trips over it on the spool. But now I'll show you a little trick to make this stuff even thinner. Cut off about a 12 inch length and then start stretching it out. And what happens is it contracts, thins down and reduces in diameter to around 0.3 to 0.35 millimetres, the same as most popular carp monos. So you end up with tiny knots which don't hinder your casting. So what I do now is show you how to tie the marker knot to your main line. So when it's stretched out, you actually end up with about 50% more marker gum than you started off with. So I'm going to cut that in half and you get two marker knots out of that. So you found your feature, you clipped up on the reel spool, now let's tie the knot. It's dead simple and it shows on the packaging how to tie this knot. You just form a loop, hold the loop against the main line and then I'm just going to tie like a three turn grinner basically. So you get one of the tag ends, wrap it around the main line and the other tag end three times, one, two, three, and then pass it back through the loop. And then just tighten it down. You end up with a nice neat little knot. Now when that's tightened down, it won't slip in normal use, but using firm sort of finger pressure, you can, you can move it up or down the line if you want to, if you want to adjust it slightly. Now I prefer to have the knot very close to the line clip on the reel. Other people like to have it up by the tip ring, but I just, just, it's just personal preference really. Generally when I slacken off, the knot ends up sort of just behind the buzzer, um, or just, just behind the bobbin basically. I cut it off so there's about 10 mil tag ends. If, you've got, if you have much longer tag ends, then you, you can affect the casting as the line sort of drags over it on the spool, but nice short tag ends. And I usually put that right close to the line clip on the reel. So that's the marker knot. Very simple to tie, dead easy, and, and it's never gonna move. What you can also do with the two different colors, you can have two colors on the same spool marking different spots. So say you've got a spot in one swim at 50 yards, you can mark that with the yellow marker gun. Say you've got a spot in another swim, you know, in a different range, you can mark that with a different colour and you can use it as a reference to which, which knot marks which spot. Now if you want to remove the knot, simply cut one of the tag ends as close to the knot barrel as possible, obviously taking care not to damage the main line. And then just pulling on the other tag end the knot should come free. Just give it a sharp pull, there's no damage to the line and now the knot's been removed. So there you go, that's the ESP marker gun, an essential accessory for accurate distance casting.